Dear Ghost, welcome to my body. Breathe through my skin and make kin with my unconscious. Reality is made up of words, and words make worlds. But worlds fall apart in the face of mountains, rivers, and rain. Bodies greater than our own. Words make worlds, even if they are built on empty promises. Let these worlds choose its people. I mean, I see all art as a form of storytelling, and I really see artists as storytellers. In my work, the storytelling takes the form of hybridizing different mediums, like painting, performances. Sculpture and insulation. I think time itself is a fiction that we all experience together, like a story. The expansion of time is perhaps felt best in a ritual to access essentially the interconnected nets of things and subjects. For me, animism's always existed from the beginning of time. You see, so much of it continue in non-Western practices and logic. These belief systems I'm talking about form contemporary object and technological desires. You want a drone so you can see like a god. I've been working with Tosh Baskell for the past seven years, who performs as Boy Chow. Every time I see a Boy Chow perform, and I feel a thread of empathy connecting everyone in the room. In my work, Tosh plays the Naga. A kind of lucid entity that connects and harnesses the anarchic power of the people. In the rubric of collective rituals, her performance feels to me like the work of a shaman. I started working with Alex Kovac around the same time as Tosh. Our collaboration has been about building a space in which storytelling can exist as an experience. His ability to sculpt light and visualize environment has allowed. For creation of the world, where a transmission that doesn't rely on written language can exist, a kind of storytelling where you slip in and out of different registers of reality. I usually begin with something personal, like a talisman that activates a connection between my lifetime and others from different generations. I started videoing my grandfather as he was losing short-term memory around 10 years ago. Sometimes I would record him doing normal daily activities, and then sometimes I would stage small rituals for him and my grandmother to be a part of. The videos would be screened back to them at a later date. For me, it was a way to create memory, but also to reinforce memory at the same time. The last project I worked on was based on a phenomenon that started in the settlement of the American army during the Vietnam War in northern Thailand. Monks would set up outdoor movie screenings for spirits, and then the locals would be invited to come watch the movies with the spirit. And then the screen became a point of encounter between a gathering of the human bodies and the non-physical. This inspired the video installation, no history in a room filled with people with funny names five, and a performance titled Together, where we turn a church in Harlem, New York, and An atrium of a school building in Dhaka, Bangladesh, into an outdoor movie theater. We use these sites to enact storytelling about the 13 kids that got stuck in a cave in northern Thailand, and how they became instrumentalized by the military government as propaganda. I believe we can come in contact with something we've come in contact with before, like old forms renew themselves with every encounter. Being an artist for me is about inducing a sacred moment in which time collapses and a transmission can be made. The ghost is both a metaphor and a lived reality. <laughs>